Just like us, primates are very social creatures. Let's talk about some of the elements that go into social organization and the researchers that we owe this knowledge to. Social organization, just like how social media is affecting our lives today, it's really complicated. Let's look at some of the elements of social organization. First, we have group size and composition, intra-group intra dynamics or within group dynamics, mating systems, and inter-group dynamics, dy dy bleh, dynamics between two different primate groups of the same species. And all of these are affected by ecology. But to make it even more complicated, all of these elements also affect each other. So within each of these, we have the male and female ratio um, affects the group size. We can also talk about territoriality, how different groups affect each other and one group may lay claim to an area. We may also see warfare, though this is really only um, noticed in chimpanzees. When we're looking at mating systems, we talk about sexual selection. We'll talk about this a little bit more once we get to evolution. For intergroup dynamics, we can look at the social hierarchy. One individual may be higher on the social chain and may have access to more resources than someone else. Primates also use excessive grooming with which to form coalitions, relationships, and to gather information about each other. We frequently do find primates forming friendships and coalitions and doing things together. And we see a lot of co-parenting where and also alloparenting, where different individuals are helping rear the children of others. But let's talk a little bit about the history of behavioral primatology and the people that we owe our knowledge to. If you didn't already know, this is Jane Goodall, one of the giants in chimpanzee research, and also in uh, understanding the behavior of different primates and why it's important. The history of this goes back to Sherwood Washburn in the 1950s and 60s. Um, he wrote the new physical anthropology and he did a lot of research on baboons. And he emphasized looking at primates in their natural environment and that doing this would help us understand the evolution. Similarly, Lewis Leakey, who discovered many different fossils in the human um, evolutionary record, we'll talk about him a lot when we get to the human fossil record, he was a big proponent that we must understand great apes to understand humans. As our closest living relatives, they will give us keys to why humans are the way we are and give us an idea of what we came from. So with all of this, we must understand the behavior of other primates to understand our own behavioral context. So let's talk about some specifics. Jane Goodall, she went to Gombe Reserve in the 1960s. She wrote several really influential books. She was famous for just going there every year, staying for months at a time, watching and recording and having consistent studies to look at the behavior of a primate group. Diane Fossey did similar stuff, in, except she went to Zaire and she looked at gorillas. Um, she was part of a movie, Gorillas in the Mist, um, with a couple different publications. Biruti Galdikas did similar things, except she went to Borneo and she looked at orangutans. She wrote Reflections of Eden, My Life with Orangutans in Borneo. These three women are some of the reason we know so much about great apes today. It takes a lot of dedication to do behavioral research on any primates. You first need to find them. You need to Remember who they are yourself. Part of behavioral research is teaching yourself to recognize different individuals. And you must do really careful study about what they're doing and uh, what pr different primates are doing at one time and then seeing if you can relate that to their environment. We also know a lot about primate behavior from several Japanese researchers looking specifically at Japanese macaques. Here we have Toshisada Nishida. He looked at chimps in Mahali, Tanzania. Um, and we also have Takayoshi Kano looking at bonobos. And we also have, of course, this really long history of research into Japanese macaques. Here we have Kenji Imanishi and Junichiro Itani um, looking at the evolution of baboons in Uganda. So can you explain? What are the elements of primate social organization? And who are the famous primatologists? <music> 